Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Because I have noticed some from listening to you guys, one thing that I went through, which took a while, mm. when I started writing, it was very hard for me to share it with anyone. Mm. It, I was, it was such a, for lack of better words, traumatic experience for me to just let someone else look. Mm. Yeah, it took me a little bit, for sure. For and, sure. and even now, sometimes, when I write my best stuff, at least what I think something sometimes is my best stuff. <laughs> I, will hear, I will also hear the a, a, a not so nice voice in my head, so to speak, yes. saying, "This is stupid. It's not good enough. It's it's horrible. Yeah. No one likes yours. Why are you?" And that will it held me back for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And I don't. And I, I I suspect that I'm not the only one who gets held back with oh, that kind of feeling. Not at all. Um, yeah. But then the more I do share it. I never had a bad experience from sharing something. No one has ever said, "Oh, how that's stupid." I've never had that. You know, even if they do, though, right? Yeah. Even if they do, it's like, okay, thanks for sharing. Bye. Yeah. yeah. You and know, it, it, because this is my journey. You know, uh, this is this this is my story. These are my words. This is my approach. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. um, how many songs do you have? Jared, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think like, so, much, so much of what people say is a projection of themselves. Absolutely, and whatever yes. it is that whatever it is that they're, they're saying about you, you know, they me vale, me vale verga, deuces. I don't care, you know, and I don't. That's what that means. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, cool. cool. Me vale verga. I don't care, uh -huh. you know, like whatever, like bye, deuces. Yeah. You know, I think having that having that ability, uh, Mike. Something that really struck with me when you said um, what you were just saying is um, allowing, allow yourself. To, mm. to, 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 to be able to share that music. Allow yourself to just entirely be where you're at, whether it be in your poetry, whether it be in your music, whether it be in the shower and you're alone and you're just wanting to belt your heart out mm -hmm. um, and doing some Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> do you go to open mics to promote yourself or just to be there yeah. to play? Yeah. Just to play in front yeah. of people. And the latter is really for me. So I, I really just go to play. I, you know, I, I, know. I would rarely like say yeah. my tag, and that's just the thing that the host would want us I've to do. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Where can yeah. we find I you? I want to know where my, you're at. My no, music but, you yes, do. we got to do those. I'll tell you what, though, things. Sarah, you uh, definitely um, are. You're a great uh, add-on to Ultra Flat. Like I love Absolutely. I love oh, the way that sure. you're doing so good. It's girls. very fun. Yeah, my new uh, go to though is saying good friends that, like you though. Oh like, yeah. Good friends that are extremely talented that are good people um to support and to yeah. give platform to and to really just come and cultivate a good space and yeah. great vibrations. Um all the people there that go there are just wonderful people and that's really one of my so, favorite things about it is you can go up to anybody in there and they're a friendly person and they're kind and they're understanding. I mean, that's a very big broad generalization, but it's a good ninety eight percent. Of course there are gonna be outliers, of course there are gonna be people in this world who aren't great, but that doesn't necessarily mean like I just love that the people who cultivate within that space, that's one of those safe spaces that just Yeah. You know, when you find good people to come in and just to be together it's truly a magical thing it so really thank is you guys for coming out to oh too. i mean oh, oh yeah always for you it's just such a beautiful thing too you know um i was just recently That's home where I met my and visit yeah me me too yeah, yeah. How, I mean, at ultra yeah. Fun? yeah. no i meant you Wait. I I met, no, I met you at, well, both of them. We, those are our two those favorite are the, places the, in the world. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I met those Mike at Ultra, awesome. and I met both of you at Giants. Yeah. Okay, wait. There was two. I Sorry. can't auto trade process two things at once. So who wants to go first? <laughs> I yeah. was just thinking. I met you at Giants Coffee Lunch, which was like I what, met Noah Vale a, while ago. a long time ago. I think you were like maybe about seventeen. Yeah, I think I was about seventeen. Old. Yeah, when we met. Um, and I saw you play the once, and it was just before I moved. It was like the last time I yeah, went to Jazz, like, and it was it that one cool. when they were doing it outside. Yeah. And um, and I saw Noah Vale play, and I was like, holy shit, this person's amazing! Uh -huh. And I came up and I introduced myself, and then that ended up being the last time I was there. Yeah. And then I came back and I saw you a couple of years later, yeah, and I was, I was like, like that's, 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 that's Noah Vale. And you looked slightly different. You looked older. You yeah. were you carried yourself in a different manner. For sure. And the amount of growth that I saw. It was like two really? people. It was crazy. Really? But like, oh, not in a bad way at all. You were in your baby artist I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad that it's like noticeable that I've gotten like you, the You've grown exponentially. That's really absolutely. great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You definitely have to make that, that, that note in your own head too. Yeah. I think. 
uh, because um, I feel like I'm in the same spot I was when I was like seven. Right. Exactly. It's so, hard to see so you every single day. That. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Of course it is. When you see you don't really day. realize that, like you, I don't know, like gained weight or you know what? lost weight or you know your hair looks longer. Mm -hmm. You know because you see yourself every day, and I think it's the same emotionally. You and know. You realize it was from yeah. here to here. Yeah. You're like where the fuck? What? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I, I do not understand all of this, but I'll I, take your word for it. I, uh, <laughs> it's just girly things. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was only one example. Oh my god, I'm the only no, lady in this room, so I, I don't. You are actually. <laughs> but, I mean, some, some, not sometimes I identify as a lady. So oh, okay. Lady okay, okay. Jasper, Lady Jasper. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Rose. Of the night music. Oh, oh Lady Rose. That sounds like something entirely. Oh, there you go. You're eager to play with you. So, um, what's up, everybody? This is a uh, Smoke and Poetry podcast. Oh, yeah. A uh, little bit of a recap. We got Noah Bell on deck. Uh, we got uh, Sarah Garlic, a beautiful, beautiful friend of mine. We got Mike Harris, who is the one who is hosting and sponsoring and providing this beautiful podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to ask my two friends um, to do a song with me. What? Uh, we're going to do Hallelujah. So here we go. Oh, Shrek! Sorry. sorry. If, if anybody wants to take um, a harmony... You let me know. Okay. I will not say anything. Uh, I'm going to let you guys do this one. I'm just going to observe and music. watch and love it. You know Hallelujah? Sure. Not some music. I don't know. I said music. I meant lyrics. I don't know all the lyrics. Like, it starts with the secret chord. I heard there was a secret chord. David played and it pleased the Lord You don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth Minor fall in the major lift Baffled king composing Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Your faith is strong, but you need it proof. Oh, <laughs> 
Our best, all right. Oh, yeah. No one saying anything. No, that was, <laughs> <a lot. laughs> that was unprepared. I think uh, I think having that those um, really um, spontaneous moments within music is just the best way to grow. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. So, can I repeat what I said to you uh, a couple days ago? You weren't there. But a couple days ago. A couple days ago, we were at Jives. And that we did that thing where I did the little spoken word, and you guys backed me up and, and did sure, the yeah. time. Yes, we need to post the photos of that one. Um, what, that. But this is what I said uh, during the thing, and it's true, and it's extra true today because I have Sarah also here. But a few months ago, I I hardly knew any serious musicians. I may I may have like met a couple people who came on my podcast, but I didn't really know anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't friends where I would hang out with any musicians at all. Gotcha. And sure. now. <laughs> I have. You are not going to hear a better voice than the three voices we hear. Oh, thanks. Right? just you got your voices are amazing, and your abilities with the guitar. And we've only seen very little tonight, but we've I've seen some in the past. Thank you. Your abilities are amazing, and the writing is amazing. I know you're not ready to share anything, but um, tonight the but first one was original. Hmm? The first song I did was an original. Oh, I thought you said yeah, you were it. Yeah, that then, was your and original. And then it just died. They said, right? actually, actually, you know what? This I'm summer, gonna die. because I, I, I oh. instead of, yeah, exactly, I'm going to die. Yeah, we're not going to dip our toes. toes. We're, we're not, not going to toe dip dippers. We're not toe yeah. dippers. We are <laughs> bad ballers. Oh, yeah. Ballers. I love that. That was beautiful. That was Really wonderfully spontaneous. Thank you. But yeah, that absolutely. was wonderful. And yeah, I, from just, I mean, it's certainly uh, a privilege to sing with them. Uh, I, I I had a moment uh, in the past where I uh, was able to do a song with Sarah Garlic, and we did a Love oh, on the Brain. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we rocked. That I bet. Wow. And we did. And we kidding? did Dreams, didn't we? We did Dreams, and we, we did. did Tennessee Whiskey. Yes, we did. Wow, that, that was, was probably one of set. our favorite. My, my favorite sets I've ever done. Oh, yeah. oh that was so, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. We should definitely do it again. Oh, also, I'm just going to, like, uh, put myself out there. If there's anyone listening and they need a drummer, let me know. Yeah. Because I'll be your drummer. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And we, should, we do need to make sure. In the cajon. In the cajon, yeah. Both. Looking to jam, hit me up. Oh, let's hit do Hit me it. up. Where? Where do we? Oh, sure. That's, yeah. Uh, do my that my Instagram handle is lyric underscore carpenter my username or excuse me the name on it that will appear is jasper rose um if you request me on facebook i probably won't accept because i'm never on and um instagram will be linked in the yeah, description yeah so instagram is where it's at uh lyric underscore carpenter um and i will uh certainly add you back i don't have any music on there but if you want to hit me up through that and deep be slide into my dms Oh, um, I have a proposition for you, Jasper. <laughs> you're not yet on the YouTube or Spotify. Uh, or... No, I, I, uh, I'm not on YouTube, nor am I on Spotify. Uh, I, I have um, I have a couple of songs recorded, but nothing I um, put out there. So. Well, well, we'll see if we can work on that with you, because I, yeah, I, I suspect it's something genius. That the you're journey is ahead, sharing. indeed. Yeah, the well, it's, is yeah, it's definitely a process. For sure. <laughs> and speak, <laughs> speaking of more genius... And and um, needs to be shared. No avail. No avail. Uh, please tell us how we can find you. Um, I also primarily do uh, 
uh, Instagram, and I also have a YouTube channel. My Instagram handle is official official at official Melville. It's the first one that pops up. It's the only one that pops up. My YouTube channel <laughs> is also um, the same. You spell Noah uh regular Noah, N-O-A-H, and then Vale, um, V-A-L-E. That's my YouTube channel as well. It's the only one that pops up. So that's how okay. you can find me. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an original. original. They are the only Noah Vale out there. Well, and that's why I thought it was funny because you're like, the way to spell Noah, I was like, are there any other ways to spell Noah? I don't yeah, know. it's like no avail, like to no avail. Like, yeah, to no avail. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, I get exactly yeah. what you mean now. Okay. No what? Uh, play on words. No uh, yeah. Listen, guys. No what? Uh, Isn't no, it so uh, no to, be, to have been able to choose your own name? Though? Absolutely. I love it's very that. Freeing. I yeah, loved it's it. so freeing. Yeah. I, know. Well, I was thinking about it, the other, like literally yesterday, I was thinking about it, and I was like, it's kind of rude that like somebody else picks your name. I, <laughs> feel, like, so, I feel like you should be able to pick your name. I mean, that's literally the most generic girl name I've ever heard. I mean, it was just not Hannah. Well, that's why I'm like trademark Sarah Garland. Dead. I'm so dead. Sorry, dude. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we all know it's true. Uh, Do you know what my birth name is, Noah? Is <gasps> no. You're mad at the world. <laughs> My mother still calls me that, so I'm always, it, it's who I am. It's yeah, a yeah. part of me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm that so is just sorry. so funny. <laughs> so what do you have At least it's not Hannah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well. Well, you really did that one, I had something less exciting. I was, uh, but circling back to the YouTube, you only you have like like three things up right now. Three but things. we'll I'm get. I'm very lazy. And I do want to point yeah, out that's three that was and a lot of people in this world. Aren't that's true. Sarah Garlic with the inspo. Absolutely, you've got shit out there. But it's also right? we were saying, talking about Noah's improvement because this was yeah. Uh, these are a couple years old, right? Oh yeah, those are, I released them I think um, when I was um, two years ago when I was eighteen, almost three years ago now. Yeah. Okay. No avail. So You're we got to get. Some Demand. We're going to get demand. some more. You're demanding me. You're in we're, demand. I'm demanding you. Will, you will be. Uh, we, we're, we're demanding YouTube and Spotify. No, we are demanding. On. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with that. Um, so funny. You know, I, I, feel, I feel like we should just go another hour and just have you guys play music. But well, we have, we have 41 more, minutes. More original music, Jasper. Woo-hoo. Uh, we can keep going if you want. Um, Would you like to do anything original? Sure, yeah, I, I will do everything if you play me another original song. Please. Mm-hmm. Let's do it then. And we also need right. to hear another uh, Noahville original as well. And all the implications that come with that. What are the implications that come I with will that? be your everything if you play me uh, <laughs> Oh, are we? Oh my God! I got the lion of the show here. <laughs> this show. is how you do this it. This is already past PG uh, thirteen. I, I am uh, currently uh, trying to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've already said the F word too many times. <laughs> talk about a special episode. <laughs> um. So <laughs> let's see. A lot of my music is. Uh, yeah. Sad, huh? Like yeah, my... it is, it is. Sad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. so this, I'll this is a song person. that I've been recently working on. Um, it really uh, resonates with me. Um, of course, all my music does, but it's not really done. Um, but I'm just re- recently started working on it, so just playing it out loud is probably uh, really intimidating, but. Thank you for being um, vulnerable and sharing with us today. You're welcome. I close my eyes. Okay. Um, no, I feel like that makes it worse. <laughs> I don't know. It's whatever Jasper wants. No, uh, I think I'm just, I'm just Is ready. Is better now. for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Remember the moment. 
it's like this I can't love you from the sidelines I can't love you in the dark anymore. That's pretty much it. Okay, oh, I see you. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I like that, man. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Um, Y'all see that? That's talent. <laughs> no kidding. And that's. Um, you know, that was, I, I really made a goal to myself to, to work on my music. Um, I'm going to be super honest with you. I wrote that like in a day. Um, wow. Oh my probably, God. And I mean, and I mean this wholeheartedly and I think I mean it in more in a per procrastinating manner. I wrote that like in 15 minutes and then I've just done nothing with it. Oh, <laughs> no. But, but I think I need to do stuff with it. You know, I think and that's the whole purpose of this podcast is to really express yourself and be vulnerable as a, as an artist and a musician. And, um, that's my journey. I wrote that in 15 minutes. And then I just put it to the side. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm glad it's all clear. I need to go back to it, honestly. Um, you know, instead of diving into um, sadness and um, allowing yourself to kind of creep into that, that those those cracks. Um, th this was a very this song um, was a very healing uh, portion for me. I can't love you from the sidelines. Mm -hmm. um, that was just when that came out of my mouth. I just felt healing that's and, and I think that's the whole purpose of music you know that's the whole purpose of yeah. it's just a beautiful line thank you it's mm -hmm. a beautiful beautiful line thank you I and agree. the song was I agree Mike and I hope you will do more um, of the of that in public maybe are you do you have any any gigs coming up or anything uh, or? no um, typically uh, a good friend do it every single freaking time <laughs> I even went world a good friend of mine uh, <laughs> if she's uh, uh, listening uh, Jenny Ray uh, oh, Jenny Ray is uh, she's the one who usually um, is the one who gets me my gig so I've yet to hear from her about any of that so if I do oh. if I do have a show and you follow me on the Instagram I will post it um, and if you and if, Jasper also comes around and open mics sometimes. Yeah, I, I do open mics on um, Tuesdays at Ultra Flat Black. That's the one that I really like to go to because my friends are there and it's a good vibe. And I really appreciate Don and the rest of everyone and their support uh, to Club Q, by the way, for the art that they had on the side of their wall. That was, yeah, and also um, they just yeah. had a benefit there Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, What's the good? benefits. Um, and uh, and then on Wednesdays I perform my uh, uh, jives yeah. whenever I have the opportunity. So. Um, you What's know, and then also, if you want to just hear me, just come to my house and I'll play for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to show up at 3 a.m. No, Jasper Rose, get out here right now. You know what? You could go find some super famous, rich, you know, person and pay, what, gazillion dollars for something like that. You're just as good. If not better no, than so, than so than all the, well, the stuff I see. Cause so you play, you. And I mean, I'm not just saying, because you play with heart. Yes. And you bright with heart, as does Thank Noah Bell. Uh, who we're going here? Can, um, Sorry, I changed the tune of the guitar. That's okay. That is no. Hey, music is always good in the background. I had a question. I forgot what my question was going to be. Do you have any other questions? You might come back around. Come back um, but we're going to hear. Well, what's the name of the song you just played? Um, I've yet to name it. I mean, a uh, part of it is uh, sidelines. You know, um, loving from someone from the sidelines. But um, you know, I. Uh, <coughs> I, I, you know, I can mess around with it, really, and, um... In other words, when people want to do requests, and, you know, there will be requests... I mean, yeah, I, yeah, you know, know, I have to, I have to, like, entirely finish the song first, right? Uh, yeah. yeah I, I, that's how Before I feel anyway. I, I need to, like... Me too. It's kind of like that whole thing where I won't pick my shoes until my outfit's done. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, piece. I need to finish this. <laughs> yeah, the, the bow. Title. It's the bow tie. Exactly, the title is the bow tie, so... Oh. But my other song is called, um, Eyes Through Fire, so, mm. yeah. Okay, hell yeah. That was a good song. I like that first song, too. I like all your songs. Thank you. But I don't think I'd ever heard that one before. So what is Noah thinking? Probably either of them, Noah. Huh? Mm -mm. I think there's a trash can. What, are you, what, what do you want to play? Well, I tuned it for a specific song that I wrote because Jasper 
Yeah. Um, Jasper said something about um, writing this song like within 15 minutes, and I wrote this song uh, when I was 16 years old in about um, uh, 15 minutes. And I found this tuning that I really like, which is I don't know what it is. Found it, and <laughs> I um, used the chords because I was learning um, a really bad song by um, uh, it's, it's called um, Attention by Shawn Mendes or Charlie Puth or somebody. Oh, wait, which, and which one is it? You just want attention, and it was. Um, that but it was in standard tuning so i just took the chords and made my own oh, picking wow, okay. and then sure. did it in this tuning so oh. this song is called i'm here we're going up here we go i feel that that's me is that you <laughs> yes yeah, sometimes i just like put on the wrong cable and i'm like why did i do that here I am standing next to you Through the mist all I can see is the parts you unscrew I feel as though I have no control Since you know me so well you know that I hate change So hold me close, don't go away Live for times today you know my pain, you see my past You've watched me melt like candle wax I'm here As I look at my life right now I'm just another face in the crowd I'm never going to be anything grand You'll never understand Still you say that I'm different That I have a unique voice You tell me how I perceive the world is a choice But don't try to convince me I've already tried too many years did I I'm here Cause I don't believe a word you say You only say that to make me feel good about myself Still you say I'm different, that I have a unique voice You tell me how I perceive the world is a choice But don't try to convince me I've already tried Too many years did I I'm here I've always been here for you I wrote that in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. God. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Woo. Oh, no. All me. Look at us go. Look at us writing music. That's how I go. We're so cool. Dude, <laughs> your vocal runs. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, my goodness. Can we fix this in case we need to Oh, more? you messed me up. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Every time you do it. Oh, it's just magic. Vocal runs are really hard, though. I mean, they're really hard Extremely to execute. Technical. And what does that actually mean? So I, 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 I like to Can you do another one, Noah? Yeah, like a vocal run. So. Um. It's still like that. <laughs> I think I just want to take that snippet and play it over and over and yeah. over. That was a rough That's your new that was a rough That's cut. your new ringtone. I, new ringtone for you guys, absolutely. Yes. And we know Noah Vale is calling when that goes off. Do oh, it. Hey, we can that out. Oh my goodness, that is, that is amazing. Wow. All right, back to Noah Vale. Are we in? We've got 30 more minutes. We have 30 we could use. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. Well, we, we use it we could use for a while. It's like, just got, got some shenanigans. I don't know. Oh, you want to do anything else? We don't. 
I wrote this. Um, okay, Jasper, we getting into oh it. Oh my gosh! Okay, go ahead. I'll, let's just keep going. Let's go. Jenny Ray's gonna have some clips for to share with all the people looking for gigs here after this. Um, we we'll give you some clips. Let me see if I can remember the chords. type of way I think and I was like mm. just wanted to like that's the thing about my music I think I have like two minutes worth of stuff you know of each individual thing that I have but they're just like mm. so fun and like I think for me they're just like little what are they called mm. uh, snippets Is yeah that what that's called? actually what I thought yeah. 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 let's go uh, back and more doing the stuff that we've been working on I've sure. got a bunch of stuff that I'm working on, which I, I don't know. count. Like I think like 15 different songs that I have. Just Heck finished. yeah! For sure. Um, that one was. Uh, yeah, what's that called? I have no idea. Um, I really like it because it goes uh, like that. It has that D minor. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then that hammering. Yeah, right. Really yeah, that hammer on is nice. Yes, that just that Isn't little that hammer on. So fun. Much. Yeah. 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 Um, but I was like, um, I don't know, interestingly enough, so much of my music is written for people that just, you know, um, aren't in my life anymore. And I think oh, that's yeah. a really interesting way uh, because like that memory that they placed in your heart still lives on. It's a moment know? in time. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. It's like a time capsule cool. in your heart. Oh, okay, Jasper Poet. Oh my god. <laughs> you just said something before you play, I just have to put yeah. that on. Because and it, for me, it's different. I don't really have so much romantic uh, experiences in, in my past. Like, writing, I've right? been with one person for a while. Sure. Um, but the people who are not in my life are sometimes the one to tend to get the bad feelings, the painful feelings of that. Mm -hmm. I don't, you don't have those feelings about people in my life mm -hmm. it's like, and you just kind of gave you kind of hit me on the head to something there that's maybe uh, someone else will be hit on the head too i don't know but why do we spend so much time thinking about people who aren't even there yeah, yeah. really though 100 yeah, percent. they're enough. probably not even thinking about you yeah yeah oh that, and that's that, oh. that, that, that <laughs> no but that part is hard to understand and realize hard to say when you're going through a breakup and let's say it's like different and you're both just feeling different ways about it or when you're when there's a friend who, who just like decided that they wanted to create those boundaries and not be in your life or maybe you had a really bad falling out with the co-worker the thing is you ponder and ponder on it and those people aren't even spending any time on that you know yeah, what I mean? a second. Not, not at all like i'm over here thinking like Hey, you know, did they, you know, that comment I said tonight was that, and in their, in their mind, they're probably like, like, I want Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, like, I just want, you know, to go home and eat, <laughs> you know. That was awesome, Jess. Know about, uh, lay it on us. Lay it on you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, what was the name of your last name? No name. No name. Yeah. So no yeah, name one. Just, 
But what's a lyric? I am a that sporadic you, artist. Cause, cause oh, same. When people want to cheer out the request. I would say uh, that one I would probably call uh, Lamppost. Lamppost, okay. Oh, yeah, so because like it goes streetlight uh, calling out your name under the moon. Okay. That's the, that's I, the I'm encouraging. I'm encouraging people just shout out requests now. I guess it perspective. And um, what is what are what are was Noah? What are you, we gonna perform? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just no, I'm just laying for you guys to like finish up your. It's your turn. It's jamming. It's what are we, it's what are we gonna do? The stage. What what do you want to do? Um, this is a song called um, "Past Empty Feelings" huh? that I'm working on. You're working on the empty feelings. Or the song? All of the above. Better <laughs> <laughs> in the past, right? <laughs> I smoked 40 cigarettes in these past two hours, going over how we met. I'll never walk away, you better shut me out, cause we both know that I'll find out how I'll find a way to get back. To what I've never been the slow tracks A plane in the end of oh, I'm dreaming in the dark About flying in my car Past empty feelings oh, 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 oh. Touch me, ever gonna let me down? Please let me help myself, I can't feel my hate. No one's ever gonna touch me, ever gonna let me down. I'll get back to what I've never been. The slow tracks are playing in the end. Oh, I'm dreaming in the dark. About flying in my car and past empty feelings. Oh, 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 is it pretty okay? Oh yeah. I think I kidding? think it's gonna be a banger. I love. Oh, gosh. I love. That. Absolutely, it's gonna be a banger. I love that. Oh, so, oh, oh my, you I can don't wrap know it what up it's called, but it's so right. It so the melodic. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been the switching minor, up my um, melody. Yeah, I've been doing new styles with like my songwriting and switching up the the verses so they sound different from. Oh my god. Yes, you feel that. A lot right. of my songs sound very similar. My man Jasper, what we got going on? Um, I'm gonna do something that I uh probably I haven't you know I've never really shared with anybody um cool. but I'm just gonna do it because I um want to um show people that it's okay to just put yourself out there. Um, this is more of like a a slam poet kind of thing that I when I and I play with myself as I do it. But here we go. Okay. <laughs> I got you. With the, I believe in you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, I can't remember the chords that I did with that, but anyway, I'm just going to do something else and see if I could just uh, do it and while I do my poem. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. So here we go. Um, I am gonna tune the guitar. Everyone gets to hear this for a second. Words of affirmation while I'm tuning the guitar. Okay. You really are. Yeah. <laughs> and record this is a positive uh, thing to put on your phone. Uh. 
Jasmine. Nice. With Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this this uh, this is called "I'm Feeling the Sunday Blues." Okay. Okay. I'm feeling the Sunday blues Where I'm trying to get back to you You see these words can easily be misconstrued It's not about some lost lover, it's about feelings undercover About my mental health and how my thoughts hover Lately, I've been a Debbie Downer, trying to smile or fighting a frown or keeping my head up in every encounter. What's going on, people ask, as if they could swim in my response and bask. It's okay to be sad, it's okay to grieve over what you once had. I'm feeling the Sunday blues, where I'm trying to get back to you. I'm just gonna do the the poem all together. Um, okay. Okay. Without doing the music because that was really just a sporadic uh, fuck around. Okay. So this is how it goes. It goes. Uh, I'm feeling the Sunday blues, where I'm trying to get back to you. You see, these words can easily be misconstrued. This isn't about some lost lover. It's about feelings undercover. About my mental health and how my thoughts hover. Lately, I've been a Debbie Downer, trying to smile while I'm fighting a frown or keeping my head up in every encounter. What's going on, people ask, is if they could swim in my response and bask while I'm holding up this heavy mask. I don't have it in me to respond. And suddenly it all dawned as this one thought took me beyond. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to grieve over what you once had. It's even okay if it makes you mad. You're not yourself, they tell me, as I'm consumed by what could be in replaying my history. I know that I'm different now, as if the word, word survivor is a compliment somehow, like I'm on display, and so I take a bow. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of feeling like a smile is always required, like I have to be constantly inspired. I can't always create, like my purpose is to generate these feelings they perpetuate. Sometimes I'm in a room full of people, yet I feel so alone. Jasper is so positive, let it be known, but I'm in a weird headspace, and it's not that I haven't grown. I've just experienced life, that's all. And I'm telling you right now, this isn't something small. Throughout time, I've built up these walls. I want to pe let people in, I promise I do, but with the experiences I've had and the shit I've been through, I can't tell you the difference between what's real and what's true. Mm -hmm. I want to believe that people want to be friends, where there are no expectations and no it depends, where love abide, abides, exceeds, and extends. Mm. Wow. Wow. Nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you. That is beautiful. And I like, I do like how you do that where you can just focus on the words. Yeah. yeah. Nice. They I'm, did go with the music quite well. Yeah. It, I feel like the tone was a little bit different. Totally than went with the music so well. Yeah. That was a little social experiment though. Look at you so, go. So those of you who participated in that social experiment, uh, thanks for listening. And, uh, I want to have inner dialogue and be like, wow, that was poop. But also, I'm on a podcast no, right now. You're awesome. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, this is this is real. This is like, I'm in a, on a podcast. I'm talking with my friends. I'm living in a whole other city. You know what I mean? I'm doing the thing. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you who are doing the thing, pat yourself on the back. Go ahead, Noah. Pat it. There you go. Sarah, pat yourself on the back. There Just you go. Mike, go ahead. There you yeah. go. Yeah! Oh, good lord. And all Trying of you, to stretch here. And you all know. of you out there, too, you know, pat, pat yourself on the back for doing it, doing the thing. And if you're not doing it, no pat for you. Well, no, and if you're not doing it, do it. I'm not talking. You can take and the time. No pressure. Not, I if you are have grace it, with yourself. I'm no avail, and I'm not, that's why I'm not the co-host. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. As you're tuning in, I'm going to ask you sure, a question yeah. in a minute. 
do you generally like at, how do you write is it just come generally or is it different Oof, um i um i like to pick a chord progression and i think um i was a little uh ill prepared for this session uh when it came to my stuff because i didn't really bring a notebook that has really all of my music um but um i like to to either just start writing and um kind of pick some chords that go with it or i like to pick chords and um you know um or you know start writing poetry like for example the sunday blues one um i i actually uh i'm working on making that a rap yes and, you've written a rap before yeah, as well i've so, seen some of it on instagram yeah so uh i uh you know it just depends on whatever i'm feeling at the time if i'm really feeling my music before poetry um and music before lyric or lyric before music it really just depends on where it is and what the creativity comes from i really have uh, a segue into each so oh, i'm sorry really quick add on i think it's extremely important to be multifaceted like that mm -hmm. just because uh there isn't one necessary way that you should box yourself into if that's something that you're good at and that's where you want to stay that's totally fine but like you you can pride yourself in the fact that you do so many different things which is right really cool. yeah. you have so many different forms of expression thank you thank you absolutely. i appreciate that absolutely no bell before you go what is your writing process um, I always, um, I wasn't really listening because I was paying, but I'm pretty sure Jasper was saying the same thing, is, like, they start with, like, chords that they, like, like, like to hear and, like, are pretty to them, and then they go in with, like, maybe lyrics or something, that's what I do. So I always write my music first, and then I write my lyrics second because I am not a lyricist. If you were to write, if you were to just look the lyrics, mm -hmm. minus everything else, you'd be like, uh, oh, that's kind of average. Um, can, I well, I, can I say something? Can I say something? Um, bullshit. <laughs> I have nice. listened to That's your nice. lyrics. Yeah. You are a freaking genius. Oh, both geniuses. You are both geniuses. I have ah. listened to your lyrics. If you threw away the music and the voice, you would still be amazing. Okay, I have amazing. a question. Yeah. I have a question for the both of you. When you write said chords to begin your songs, do you write them with possible, not necessarily lyrics specifically, but more a general idea or, or way that you want that song to go? Absolutely not. No, you just that's too much restriction. Here. Like the other, so I started oh. writing. So I started writing this song the other night, and I was actually trying to be cool and actually like be a real guitarist and try and finger pick. But then I got these chords that I really liked, which were. start singing because I was feeling a lot and so I just said come here baby I just want to talk but how did my hands get around your throat again I said it's okay I can listen to even when you say I'm a fool fuck you fuck me fuck you too so that's what I've got so far. I wrote that um, two nights ago. Yeah. And that's the song I'm working on. But no, I just let my emotion, whatever I'm feeling, because I'm going through a breakup right now. Drive, drive this uh, out. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Music writing time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to make, if you want to get Noah to write something, do something just really Just break their heart. Literally. Literally. I think for me, my process is very interesting because I, uh, I'm hyper aware. And I'm very um, analytical, and I have a very um, interesting approach to the way that I look at myself and view myself. And, and with that being mixed with being um, kind of, um, you know, having a lot of uh, mental health issues, you kind of tend, you tend to overthink things. Mm -hmm. And so, like, um, something that a good friend of mine uh, had let me know was uh, just, to, to, just to have word uh, vomit. You know, to just let it come out, and uh, whatever you like, you like, and whatever you don't, you don't. I mean, the, the beginning lyrics of my other song that I did um, is, you know, um, it's a summer morning, I hear your breath, um, I turn on over to, to take in the rest. You know, that's like a very, like, John Mayer, yeah. um, like a very, like, you know, soft thing. You know, and then I have some lyrics that are, like, um, very deep lyrics um, that are, like, um, gee... Let's see, let me see. Um, even like some forms of poetry that I have um, that have words like terrorism and domesticity, you know, so that I'm, I'm trying to find the, the the very fine line between being a poet and being a, a, a lyricist. Because uh, as a poet, you you know, you, 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 you have to in a way 
Uh, you have freedom. There are no lines. But as a lyricist, you have to make it Absolutely. a line with the music. And so and your vision as yes, well. Yes, exactly. So and then um, find a way that you can uh, sing it out loud. Um, you know. So I think for me, first of all, I, there's a battle within myself of being super over analytical about what I write because I I love my writing. I think I'm I love my my poetry. It's a very vulnerable thing for me. And it, um, you know, I I think my lyrics certainly have a different approach to them, I think they're a lot more simple than my poetry. Mm. Um, because I've yet to find that good, fine balance between um, singing that something something that sounds good yeah. and saying what you mean. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. That's hard. Yes, exactly. Because I have so, you know, I mean, I literally have a microphone tattooed on my arm. Like, my, my, my um, goal in life has always been to be a to be to be a voice in the world you know and uh i'm trying to figure out how to do that to, as an artist you know um it's not just about the music it's about the lyrics for me and mm -hmm. um and it's also about my example how do i lead my life your message you know? yeah exactly exactly oh yeah so i do want to say we only have nine minutes left five minutes uh, two hours flew Ooh. by this That's is crazy. this is the longest episode i've ever done but i think it might be the best yeah, oh, it's, oh, it will be. It's been awesome. I know as long as you have done this is your first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, <laughs> but it's so long. It's been very natural. Thank you guys so much for coming on so, today. Yeah. We are going to end it out with a Noah Bell song, and then I think we could just do a couple of closing okay. statements, I guess. Well, anything, so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you make it sound like it's, yeah, a, like it's my other job. Closing statements. Closing arguments from each of you. Closing <laughs> arguments. You are a lawyer, Mike. So, guilty or not so. guilty. <laughs> well, we will give you a chance. Guilty being badasses. That's what you are. Well, we will give you a chance to close, to give a closing statement of whatever you would like, but I guess we have another song coming first. We All do. Right. I thought Ooh. we had a Noah Bell song coming. We do have a Noah Bell song coming. Um, this is, I'm not a lyricist. I just said that. I'll, I'll be really quick about yeah. this introduction. I'm not, I'm not very good of a, of a lyricist. But, the um, most bullshit thing you've ever said. Right. That's okay. what I'm saying. It's straight <laughs> lies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Where so I, I actually wrote the music for this. My friend is a poet. Her name's Nayala. Um, I'll probably tell her about this and she'll want to hear it. Um, and yeah. she wants yeah, she's to not watching it. live. She, I don't think she's oh, watching live. No, big friend, friend. Big friend. <laughs> yeah, she'll watch it later and she'll make comments about to make up for not seeing it live. Yeah, about how awesome. awesome. Um, and so she's a poet, like a real live, like she's really good at poetry. Um, and so she had this um, poem for her best friend that she mm. wanted to give to her, and she was like, I you're such a great songwriter, I want you to make this into a song. So I wrote this. Um, you know, not my lyrics. I stay alive for you, sucking your grief through my teeth while my choking on your deserved affirmations. All these warning signs slide right off my skin. But if it's any consolation, you're my favorite thing to indulge in. And you. Are the only thing that makes me feel okay, and you are the most important part of my day. I don't know why you still have to cope with the way that she sat in the room. While your daddy would always stir up your day-to-day -day sabotages, making it impossible to sip on any romance Scars like skin, and in relation to you, I'm this big gaping wound, and I know we'll never. Sex comp 
supplications and backseat empty promises. Thank you. Wow. Hey, thanks. You better stop. I love your song. Oh, you're a yeah, friend. You did, is you did love a getting my guitar. Oh, isn't she? She's wonderful. Yeah, you've also been loving smacking that guitar around. Yeah, you can. Hey, I can't say anything, though, because I smack that guitar around all the time. That. Not that specific one, but any guitar in my hands. So. Oh, no, but you said that guitar, so. I, I did. Oh, my God. Do you want some Yeah, you can do a show now. It's supposed to be secrets. If anyone would like to know what Josh Bors said, I can. Ask in the comments, and I will reply. But yeah, whatever, because I'm not saying what I said out loud. Well, here's my deal. We're a little bit more of a characterized version of ourselves, you know what I mean? Into obviously like we're very real people, but you can you can joke. You can totally joke. Good, I good. feel like I feel like that's fine. I don't know. We're gonna have to talk. I'm also about a this. teacher, so Oh, oh that's teacher. true. <laughs> I have, have to be, be careful, careful with what I say. Not because I work in education. Okay, but <laughs> will you be my teacher? Uh, oh my gosh, yes. we need to talk. We need to so, stop. Well, we are that beginning. was smoking poetry. I am Jasper yes. Rose. Um, emphasis on the smoking. Because all of us are smoking. Oh. Oh. It okay. just means smoking hot. That's all it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, can mean, it, it can mean anything to whatever you want it to mean, but for it just means smoking hot. It's, it's been a pleasure to be in this podcast. Well, thank you so much. Like it's been a pleasure lot. to to experience that vulnerability. To, to, to be able to express who we are, to spend time with my friends. Yeah, and, let's uh, go. I'm going to let you guys sign off because I cannot do it any better. You guys here. So. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Sarah Garley, for being co host. You're doing so good. Yeah. You're gonna, you're, it's amazing. I love what you're doing with your life. And that's Thank beautiful. You. Yeah. yeah, and that's like. Uh, I'm sorry, really quick, two minutes. Um, it's important. These are my closing statements. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by the Smoke and Poetry podcast. If you are pursuing anything that makes you happy within this life, just keep going. Because the second you become out of practice is the second you lose it, right? And so it doesn't matter if it's once a week. It doesn't matter how, you know, when, how, where, why it is. Just keep going. So with that, I would like to say thank you guys for coming by. This has been Smoke and Poetry Podcast. We put this up to the camera to end it. Thank Just you, put everybody, it up. who oh. participated. Mike Harris, Smoke Jasmine Rose, Smoke Sarah Garland, Podcast, Noah Bell, Sarah Garland, Jasper Rose. Have a beautiful life, y'all. <laughs> See you next time. Good. <laughs> that was fun. Woo! That was awesome. That was incredibly You guys are wonderful. <laughs> Do we use up the two hours wisely? Indeed. <laughs> See, are these two not the most amazing musicians? Anyway.